Well, finally, I'd like to touch upon politics. I mean, it's the third rail for a lot of people. Most people don't want to talk about it, but it's, it's one of the reasons many people want to leave California. So if we can touch upon a couple of things uh, that are really important to some people. Uh, are you familiar with what the gun rights laws are in Idaho? Yeah, so let's talk about that. So earlier we kind of touched on it when we talked about how we're a very pro-business, uh, pro-property rights state. Uh, so in general, our state government is a very conservative um, government and it has been for generations. And so we have zero gun restrictions pretty much. We, you don't need a permit um, to conceal carry or open carry. Um, you actually don't even need to get a, a background check if you're buying from a private owner or from like an auction. Only if you buy a, a weapon from a federal arms dealer you do. Um, but as long as you're 21 years and older, you don't need any type of permit in Idaho. So we have huge hunting grounds. Hunting is big here. Lots of um, elk, deer, um, sometimes bear, you know, just year round hunting. So gun rights are very sacred here. Second Amendment's really powerful here. We also have um, medical freedom as far as things like vaccinations. We do still have um, both medical, religious, philosophical um, exemptions for, you know, immunizations and vaccinations. Um, you know, the school, school will tell you that, you know, if you want to take that exemption, that's fine, as long as you are aware that if there's an outbreak in the school, your child will be asked to stay home until it's over. So, you know, but, but they'll definitely let you enroll. So in that aspect, uh, we have that type of government. Now, the Treasure Valley, um, for the most part, mirrors that conservative um, government apparatus. But in full transparency, Boise proper, Boise itself, their local government um, tends to lean more liberal in a, in, in, a, in a more traditional democratic sense. So let me put it this way. Idaho is so red that you could never get elected here, even at a local level, if you were a very progressive Democrat type politician that you might see in some parts of California or some parts of the East Coast. Here, when Democrats are elected, they're more of the old fashioned, traditional, moderate, relatively pro-business type Democrats. A progressive doesn't exist in Idaho and couldn't get elected. So even though you might hear about, oh, Boise has a Democratic mayor, I can guarantee you um, in, in California, they would probably be considered a, a very uh, liberal Republican. I mean, I really. Yeah. So, so that's the difference. But once again, I mentioned earlier that we don't have home rule in Idaho. So the cities, a lot of the power that they have in other states, they don't have here. So it's not easy for a local government to do all these crazy things without the permission of the state legislature. And our state legislature is a super majority. Um, it's, a, it's the mere opposite of California. Hmm. Super majority, all the state offices are basically Republican holders right now. The legislation, legislators are super majority um, Republican. Um, so if that's, if that's what you're looking for, then by all means, Idaho is the place for you. Um, you know, but they welcome everybody. They, they're happy to have people come here. Um, you know, all they're hoping for is that when you come here, you adopt the values of Idaho. And, and if you do that, they will welcome you. Um, same as they've done with us. We're not from here originally, and we feel very welcome. Uh, everybody's been very wonderful to us over the years. And, uh, you know, it's a safe place because of that. Idaho is a iron fist when it comes to the rule of law. We, there's a saying here that you do the crime in Idaho, you're definitely going to do the time. Judges are really strict here. And for that reason, our crime rate is relatively low. Um, you know, here, when there's a, a, a violent crime, it's still on the front page of the paper because it's that rare. Mm. So, you know, because of that, um, marijuana is not legal in Idaho. Um, even though it is on the border states, it's not here. Idaho will probably be the last state, if ever, to legalize marijuana um, because of their values. Um, we didn't talk about it, but I should touch on religion. Mm. Um, California, uh, Idaho generally is a very religious state. We have a very large um, uh, Church of Latter-day Saints or Mormon, um, um, how do you say, a very large community. 
There's also a huge Christian community, a huge Roman Catholic community. So almost everybody goes to some type of, of regular church. And because of that, um, once again, we have a low crime rate, very little homelessness. Most of that is taken care of by all of these different community groups, lots of you know shelters and food banks. We also have um, very low graffiti, almost non-existent. The streets are clean, there's no trash, the sidewalks are spotless. It's a beautiful community and it's safe for children. They can play outside. You know, you're not gonna worry about, you know, that kind of going for walks in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, so in general, it's just a wonderful place to live and there's plenty of land. So we're not, we're not in any shortage of running out of space, um, you know, to build. And on that note, I assume you're getting a lot of uh, uh, building going on in your area. Yes, we can't build fast enough. So California is like the water hose. And those of you that are watching this, you understand that because that's why you're part of this group. Because there's 40 million of you maybe, give or take, was it 35, 40 million Californians? 40, and there's yeah. two, two and a half million of us. <laughs> it, the amount of people that want to move here, not only from California, but Washington and Oregon, um, we can't keep up with the building. We're, we're on average about 5,000 new construction units behind every single year. Wow. And we're building as fast as we can, and it's just not catching up. So for that reason, our inventory of, of available homes is very low. You know, it's, a bit, it's, it's uh, one of those markets where, um, you know, it, it's, unfortunately, it's, it's not really much of a buyer's market, but the cool thing about it, though, is once you buy a property here, you're going to see the appreciation really fast. It doesn't take a decade to grow your wealth. It takes two years and you're making, you know, 30% profit already. So for that reason, a lot of people here have um, really seen um, some serious personal real estate wealth accumulate over the last five or six years um, just from buying a $150,000 house and now it's $350,000. And so, so those are the, the positive things of coming here to Idaho, especially the Boise area. The Treasure Valley just has so many positive features to it. I mean, you know, people say, oh, well, you're a realtor, so you're, you're only going to talk about the great things. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I moved here as well. So I didn't come from California. I came from Vermont. Um, but it's been wonderful for our family in every possible way. Uh, I can't even think of one complaint or negative thing at the top of my mind because I was trying to think I got to give them one thing <laughs> and I really can't think of it. I mean, you know, it's, it's compared to California and the East coast where I came from. It's so much cheaper. I'll give you an example. My family of five in a 2000 square foot house with a dog working from home because my wife and I are both realtors. Our average electric bill. And I've told Terry this before is about 50 to $60 a month. And that's with electric stoves and a large refrigerator and computers and TVs. Our water bill, same thing. Our sewage and trash, same thing, 60 bucks a month. And then internet access, wife, uh, broadband is, I think I pay $55 a month. Mm -hmm. So everything, you know, all utilities all together, maybe 150 bucks, 170 bucks a month for everything to run a 2000 square foot house fully watered lawn front and back it's it's amazing so when you bring all that together even if some of the job salaries or wages are lower here than california the cost of living and the general lifestyle and the lack of stress more than make up for it um, you know the opportunity is ripe we have tons of space tons of water we have some of the i think we have something like three trillion gallons of um, water uh, under the our water table underneath us so there's enough water here for you know for like a thousand years really to keep our irrigation going so for that reason you can water your grass 24 7 there's no restrictions um, and it'll cost you about 80 bucks a year for your water <laughs> yeah it sounds unbelievable but it does exist i promise everything i've told you today can be verified and is 100 percent true i guarantee it well, I know you know your stuff, Isaac. Hey, um, so this has been very helpful. Thank you so much for this. Uh, if people want to connect with you, oh, by the way, I think in the next three to five years, hundreds of thousands of Californians are going to leave, and many of them are going to move to Idaho. 
So if people want to reach out to you and get more information about, about Boise and maybe connect with you to talk about the housing market or anything else that concerns them, how can they reach you? Yeah, so what I think we'll probably do is, you know, when we, we'll, we'll publish all of my contact details at the end, at the end of this video. Um, but the easy is my company is called Reside 208. 208 is our area code. Idaho only has one area code, 208. It covers the whole state. So, um, so reside208.com. It's the same everywhere. So Facebook is at Reside208, Instagram. So as long as you, you go into Reside208, you'll, you'll find us. We work with all kinds of real estate, not only residential, but investment properties. We know, we know that a lot of people from California maybe aren't ready to move here just yet, but they would like to maybe buy a property now because the interest rates are so low or because they have cash that they're sitting on. So we, we're happy to facilitate that as well, where you can buy a property now and we can rent it out. Our vacancy rate is only 2% in our rental market. So it's just as hot as the buy-in market. Wow. So finding a renter for an investment property here is not a problem. And our average cost for property management is about 8% of your monthly rent to, to manage the property fully. So we do that a lot. We have a lot of people from California who will buy a property and then you know, plan to retire in that home or move into it a few years down the line. And then we also deal with uh, 1031 exchanges for people that have investment properties in California that want to sell them and invest here. Um, for those that are um, over 62 years old, we, we do reverse mortgage purchases uh, pretty often here. And then finally, the, the, probably the, the newest, not newest, but the, the thing that's really happening a lot recently is, is taking the money from your self-directed IRA. If you have a self-directed IRA, you can definitely purchase investment real estate. Um, and it's a much safer investment compared to the stock market historically. So there's all kinds of mechanisms. We also deal with a lot of veterans. I spent eight years in the army. I'm very proud to be a veteran. So we definitely are familiar with the veterans um, loans. And believe it or not, because Idaho is so rural, everything around the Treasure Valley qualifies for the USDA rural development loans, sure. which if you know, are 0% down. That's right. So it's amazing. A lot of those pounds we talked about qualify. Boise does it, Meridian, Eagle don't, but CUNA does and a bunch of the outlying towns which are still just 30 40 minutes away qualify so you can you can come into a home literally for nothing down uh, in boise so we we have it all here we have condos we have townhouses we have high-rise condos in downtown boise if that suits you there's luxuries you know there's there's um single family homes you know you we have mansions we run the gamut here so there's something for everybody um the only thing that we don't have is oceanfront views that's about it i thought of something negative that's what we don't have <laughs> uh, well isaac that's great thanks again it was a pleasure talking to you and i know that you'll uh you'll be talking to a lot of folks from the leaving california group and we look forward to you helping them live a better life outside of california I, i'm happy to do that and you know terry i can't believe how fast this group has grown you know it's what almost seven thousand about right now Yep. That's, uh, a that's a testament to to your leadership and your this was your idea and i'm glad i got to come along for the ride and all of us that are members of this group uh, should be thankful that something like this exists uh, because it gives an outlet as well as a chance to vent a little bit but also a chance to really see the resources and connect with people from you know find out where they're going and, and the best practices and uh, what they can find in those areas we'd like to be that resource for all of you for the treasure valley um, and, you know, we're, we're pretty much full-time, 24-7, my wife and I, with our team of four. This is all we do. And we're, we're proud of being in Idaho. And we, we definitely are happy to, to help any of you with any questions you have. Thanks a lot, Terry, for having us today. All right, Isaac. Thank you. Take care.